Something that I believe that almost every single creator in existence and possibly that has ever lived has in common is they're never 100% happy with what they put out. And a lot of the times I, I've i noticed that when I'm editing, I, I tend to put out some something sometimes that I'm not necessarily proud of, per se. It's not that I'm not proud of it. It's that when I start editing, I usually have a specific vision of what I want it to come out as. And then as I'm doing this and as I'm editing and as I'm kind of trying to form it into what I want it to be, it, it ends up getting so convoluted and so just kind of it, it skews so far from what I wanted it to that sometimes it kind of gets me down a little bit. And I, I feel like that's kind of something common between almost everybody in, in the in the creation space, content creation, writing, like almost anything, absolutely anything. And I guess like one of the ways that I've been kind of trying to go about it is I'm trying to see it as like a learning experience. It's just like, okay, so this video that I wasn't specifically happy with is doing bad. What can I learn from this? What can I absolutely just, what, type of lesson can I learn from this? Because that's the whole, con that's the whole concept of like why I started doing videos. It's like, I want to learn these things and I want each video to essentially teach me something. And because of that, I have to stop looking at the, I hate this video. I can't believe I put this video out and just look at it as a, I put this video out. It's not performing the way I wanted it to. Um, it didn't end up the way I wanted it to, but how the audience reacts to it, I guess, is more or less how I'm gauging what I should change in this, um, what I should do different next time. And because of that, it's it's kind of been helping me. I mean, there, there are plenty of videos that I put out that I wasn't particularly happy with. Um, and I, I make myself very vocal about it. And I need to stop doing that. I need to stop thinking, hey... This video was absolute dog shit, so I can't believe I made this. I'm not as good as I want to be. I'm not the best creator, and because I'm not. I'm not the best creator. Like, learning and doing and having those videos that are not the best is, I, I honestly feel like, the best step forward when it comes to creating and figuring out the style that you want to make. I personally have learned so much from watching back the videos that I did not like. And, and I know it's kind of shitty. You think it's just like, well, why'd you put out a video that you didn't like? It's because I, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that I put videos out because like I said, each video is a lesson. Each video has something in it. That's going to help me progress as a creator. And I mean, even with my last one, I rushed that motherfucker out. I rushed that video out so hard. I was just, I want to stick to the once a week schedule. And I feel like sometimes it, I, I feel when I put it out that sometimes it's detrimental to like the content that's coming out. But then I realized it's just like, why? It's my content. I'm having fun. I'm learning stuff while I'm doing it. And it, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, as my wife says, it ain't that deep. And because of that, I'm still continuing to put out videos all year. Like my goal, my goal is to have one video and one short a, a week for the entirety of the year. Because I, I, you know what, you know what, you know what, it's my year. And, and I know everybody says that it's just like, oh, it's the beginning of the new year. It's just like, it's my year. I'm going to do stuff. But I honestly think that, especially with YouTube, especially with kind of the traction that I've been getting, I love doing this and I want to stick with doing this because it's fun and I'm having a blast learning how to do all of these things, you know, filming in di with different perspectives, um, trying different things and everything like that. So I know this is just kind of like a talking head. I, I've, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I really, really, really like to do these talking heads. Uh, like I'm talking to you and I'm voicing like my opinion on some of the things that I'm doing, but I guess I have I have a couple questions for you. I, I have a couple questions for you, and I hope you will honestly answer them. Um, what are some of the things that have helped you whenever you're kind of disappointed in your content? What is some of the stuff that you've 
determined um, as a positive from putting out something that you believed was subpar? Um, like answer those in the in the in the comments because um, a farming interaction and b I just like listening to or I like reading everybody's comments and figuring out their perspective on things because it's while I can talk to somebody on a stream and just like get their interaction it's just like after somebody's watched you for like five six plus minutes you they they get to know a little bit about you more than just kind of watching you play a video game while you're streaming um and. I love having the conversation with people. So put those in the comments. Let me know. Um, yeah. I hope everybody kind of finds some sort of, I don't know, inspiration from this because it's what I'm trying to do. It's what I'm trying to do. And I, I have fun doing it. But anyways, if you liked it, give it the whole thing like a like and a comment and a subscribe and, you know, put on the notifications if you really want to hang out with me because I put out a video every single week and I put out a short every week. I'm committing to it. One short, one video every week till the end of the year. And then probably more like that. So anyways, I appreciate you. And I hope everybody has a great weekend, week, day, night, uh, specific time. Okay, it got a little awkward. So um, on that note, I'm going to go and I'll see you later. Bye.